parts of Nigeria will soon be sold out to China due to unpaid loan. A few weeks ago, there was a deep outcry in Lusaka, Kitwe, Chingola, Ndola, Livingstone and all other Zambian cities and towns. What could be the problem in the land of Kenneth Kauda that could have made people express this general deep anger throughout mm -hmm. the country? Zambians had woken up to the alarming news and we are wondering how their best international airport will be taken over by another country. The country has defaulted in its debt repayment to China and consequently China is about to take over the Lusaka International Airport. As if that was not enough, a few days later, news went round the land of Chimpolopolo that talks were underway for some Chinese companies to take over others' prized assets. The power utility company Zesco and other strategic national institutions and assets like KKIA ETC. Nevertheless, Zambians were not really surprised because they were aware that their government had been securing unending loans from China in recent years, and many were also aware of Zambians' indebtedness to China to the tune of $8 billion in the past few years. The outcry was very strong because Zambian state-owned TV and radio news channel ZNBC was already being run by the Chinese who acquired 60% ownership that has given them influence over that or over what should or should not be premiered. On their station. The fear of China taking over national assets has now pervaded the entire African continent. As several African nations stand the risk of losing their sovereignty to this big creditor. The world's most populous nation will seize national assets once this own government default on the Chinese loans hanging round their necks. Two weeks ago, Sierra Leone newly sworn in President Julius Madabio cancelled a $400 million Chinese funded project to build a new airport in the country. Former President Ernest Bai Koroma had signed the loan agreement with China before a lost election in March. Despite World Bank and IMF warnings that the project would impose a heavy burden on the country, the decision comes amid concerns that many African countries risk defaulting on their debt to China, which might lead to the takeover of several assets funded by the project. In the past three years, Nigeria has gotten over $5 billion dollar loan from the People's Republic of China, which has resulted in the execution of infrastructure projects across the country. This was revealed by President Mohamed Buhari last month in Beijing at the China-Africa Corporation FOCAC round table meeting, attended by African leaders and Chinese presidents. Jinping, Chinese loan now make up 8.5% of the Nigerian external debt of $22.8 billion as at the end of June 2018. To be fair, Nigerians set aside a reasonable percentage of its budget for debt servicing yearly and most likely would not fail to service its Chinese debt. However, Naira metrics takes a look at key Chinese loans funded infrastructural projects in the country, which might be taken over by China. In case Nigerian defaults in its debt repayment to the Asian 
giant depending on what is contained in the terms of the loan deals. This $500 million rail project was constructed with loans sought from China and happens to be the first urban rail system in the entire West African sub-region. The rail was commissioned in July this year. This is another $500 million Chinese funded rail system that has been completed and operational in Nigeria. The amount was borrowed to complete the project, which brought the total figure to $1 billion. The 180-kilometer rail line connects Abuja and Kaduna and was commissioned about two years ago. The rail line system is the first in Africa that uses modern Chinese standard and technology. Investigation by Nara Metrics revealed that the rail line is functioning efficiently with no issues, and one could only hope that it would not be taken over by China. This is one of the various ongoing projects worth 3.4 billion that Nigeria is leveraging Chinese funding to execute across the country. This amount was jointly borrowed under the administration of President Mohamed Buhari and Goodluck Jonathan. In 2013, Nigerians secured a $500 million loan from China at 2.5% interest rates for the construction of four international airport terminals in Abuja, Kano, Lagos, and Port After signing a memorandum of understanding with China, Exim Bank, the MOU for the loan was signed in Beijing with the delivery of the four new international airport terminals to be constructed by the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation. CCECC. The new terminals designed to rival some of the best around the world were to be part of the achievement of President Jonathan administration ahead of a 2015 re election bid. However, none of the terminals were completed before he lost his re election bid. The Port Accord International Airport Terminal, part of the deal, was commissioned last week by President. Bori. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, if Nigerian doesn't take time, that $500 million billion that was borrowed to build this railway line, before they even think of finish paying the money, China will take over the railway and they will become a major shareholder of that railway. Is it only railway? What about the other, other, other assets that belong to the Nigerian government? If possible, I say it again, if possible, most of our international, most of our local and international airports will also be taken over by China. See how they, they, take, they took over the international airports in Zambia. Just because they are owing them loan over eight, 8 billion naira. What are we saying? These people are out to defraud countries. They know why they are borrowing this money. They know why they are giving out this money. China is out to be the world, the world leading country. They want to take over this world. I'm telling you the truth and we keep succumbing to their tricks to their deceit instead of us to work hard to to still to help the economy of our country instead of all doing that we keep frustrating the economy by stealing and introducing all kind of atrocities my viewers please your comments concerning this are very important Please don't hesitate to leave them behind. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.